Oh, hey, how are you? Can I just have a look at the shop? He said, okay, yeah, thank you. Do you know where the Hans Egede Hotel is? Yes. Do you know where? Is it from here, not too far? So. Okay, if you go up to the main road. Main road, yes. And then turn to the right. Oh, turn to the right and stuff, yeah. It will be on yeah. the left side. Okay, thanks. Do you know what sort of buildings these these ones are? Is it residential or...? It's... yeah, just... Oh, okay, I see. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. But they're yeah. taken down one by one. They're building new buildings. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much, yeah? Thank you. Have a nice day. And we're back at the Hans Eger de statue. Let's get back up there, and I'll tell you a little bit more about Nuuk, this absolutely beautiful, colorful city. Here you can see the iconic cathedral of Nuuk. Iconic building here. It's also a red color and so are the majority of buildings here in Nuuk. There's no doubt about that looking at it from this vantage point. The colors itself of the buildings today they don't mean anything but they did mean something in colonial times. In colonial times the red color was typically assigned for buildings such as churches or schools or the minister's house. Yellow buildings were typically used to indicate a hospital or the private residence of a town doctor. Blue buildings were not the police, they were associated with water, the blue waters, so things like fish factories would typically be of a blue colour. Your green colour buildings would be the power works and the telecommunications buildings of a place in Greenland. And your black painted buildings that would be the police. But I mentioned today the colours don't mean anything. People of Greenland, people of Nuuk can paint their houses in any colour that they desire. And it does look absolutely spectacular. Yeah, just trying not to slip and fall over here. It might be a bit tricky going over here in the, uh, the snow. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. So not the best place to go down. Well, depending on what you mean by going down. If it means falling and breaking a leg, then that's certainly what it means. But I think I'll have better luck on this side. Will this be a wise choice? Here's a bit of solid turf though, that I can angle. Yeah, I think I'll be fine. Almost a slip there. Right. Let's not break something. There's a footprint there, so maybe I'll be fine. Yeah. And I think I've made it. Yes. <laughs> and look, the cathedral is now open. It was closed earlier. that way we're open. This house in front of us here, that's the oldest house in all of Greenland. It was the house of Hans Egede here in the Colonial Harbour with the statue over there and the new cathedral what we got in front here is a black painted building with C11 
written on the roof and what that C11 likely means or meant was that it was a reference point for planes in World War II, most likely American planes, signifying an American base or a building of interest. And you got the Greenlandic flag of course there. So the US have always been very interested in Greenland as a strategic location. Those of you familiar with American history will know of William Seward, who was involved in the 1867 purchase of Alaska from Russia. He was a Secretary of State of the US. He had a key interest in Greenland and also in Iceland. I believe he tried to purchase those as well, but he was ultimately blocked by Congress. And of course, in 2019, Donald Trump showed an interest in purchasing Greenland as well. Just imagine having to deal with all the snow just outside your house and how much effort it must take to clean up and maintain and you know we always think of snow as being quite romantic and winter-esque and of course it is especially for people like myself from the southern hemisphere but for people in this part of the world, it can be quite a pain, I'm sure. And unlike Reykjavik, of course, these wooden houses with different colors, they don't have corrugated iron, which was a very Reykjavik thing, which I talked about in my Reykjavik blog. I also put a link in the description where you can go and view it if you haven't seen it yet. A boat among the snow. Let's walk back to the town. I could go there, I could go here. Let's go here. Right. Don't think I've ever crossed a bridge that was snowed under, so this might be a first. If in doubt, step in the footprints. Which is what I should be doing. There we go. I'll tell you what, the snow is almost better than the melted snow, which makes it very wet. So now, yo, I should have gone the other road actually. That should have been a quiz question, which road should I have taken, the left one or the right one? Jumping. Yeah, I think I'm, uh, I'm fine now. Yeah, so just... I see that's residential block 2 and there's no 1. Here you have block 3, block 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, some colourful ones as well. Yellow, green and red. Do you want to see the offices of advisory firm Willis Towers Watson? I guess on a sunny day like today, there's no reason not to do your washing and do some drying outside. I actually feel like I'm getting a tan here in Greenland of all places. Beautiful day. Here's a very bright red one. It's just lovely, all these uh, colourful buildings. What a colourful city, it feels like a little Legoland almost. How interesting is this? There's a bus sign here on a stone slab suggesting this is a bus stop.
trying to navigate the streets here with a melting snow running down. Interesting art on the building over here on one of the blocks that is said to be demolished. Is that a woman and a polar bear? Hello guys. Sorry, do you know what buildings these are? Is it uh, residential? It's 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 just uh, common uh, co uh, apartments. Apartment blocks. Okay, yes, yeah. yes. I don't know. Uh, it's it's INIAS. If you want to know something. Okay, yeah. They're called INIAS or Inerit. Inerit. There's two uh, agencies and stuff. Yes. Okay, okay. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. Where are you from? I'm from South Africa. Okay. Yes. yes. Yeah, it's uh, it's lovely to be here in Nook and to visit Greenland. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much, sir. Have a nice day. Okay. Yeah, thank you, sir. I appreciate it and good luck with the job. Bye bye. Those lines over there. There's some construction going on over there as well. Let's go down here. See if we can speak to some locals. Hello, sir. Sorry to bother you. Do you know what that means? That uh, that language there. Uh, trust and love. Ah. Okay, very nice, yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Good luck with the job. One second. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Oh, yes, it is you. Yeah, the same one. Yes. Did I speak? Did I just speak with you over there? Yeah. You look different with the glasses, so sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my, my, yeah. uh, my big sister. Yes. Our eldest. She have been, uh, she have been, uh, uh, have holidays, ho held holidays in your country. Really, in South Africa? Yeah, South Africa and uh, Botswana. Two hundred, two. Fantastic. When, when did they go? Uh, she was, uh, she, she left us for two years ago. Two years ago. Okay, yeah. And yourself, are you, are you going at some point? Or? Oh, I, I don't have so. I have. Uh, I, I used. Uh, I'm spending too much money on myself, so I don't. Fair enough. Okay. Yes, but when when you go, the nice thing about going to South Africa is once you're there, the right. flight is not it's not cheap. But right. once you're there, the Danish krona will 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 be very cheap for you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Because uh, South African rand is not not that expensive. So yeah. Uh, uh, her husband, she's he's still here. Really nice to meet you, yeah, take it easy, all the best. Hello. Colorful blue building here. Looks like offices or something. And there are the colorful buildings from the other side of the road. Getting up to uh, some residential buildings here. Made from wood. This is where people live in Nuuk. Here's a hair salon. Absolutely huge satellite dish over there. Some uh, leftovers from Halloween. Carved pumpkin. Water flowing towards the ocean. And another one of these wooden platforms with steps. Presumably at the end, connecting the city. What a wonderful experience to be here, don't you think? Just to see how people in Greenland live. And the different styles of architecture and the colourful buildings. Absolutely fantastic to be here. I mean, just look at, look at this as a scene. 
It's hard to imagine this particular scene anywhere else in the world, but here in Nuuk, here in Greenland. So I'm just walking here in the region of the old apartment blocks. Yes, yeah, so all these buildings are going to be destroyed at some point, demolished. I just wonder where the people will be staying whilst it's demolished. I hope there's a contingency plan for that. Is this a new hotel? Is this a hotel? Are you building a hotel? A school. Oh, okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. So I've got another question for you. It's not a quiz question, just a general one. Have you noticed any trees so far in Nook? When Eric the Red first came to Greenland, he named it Greenland in order to entice people and lure people from other parts of the world to come to this newly discovered and exciting part of the world. So the name really is a misnomer. In some ways, Greenland and Iceland should be reversed. I think this is the consulate of Iceland. It's the Icelandic flag here in Nuuk. It's a, just a small wooden building. This is interesting. I wonder what this was used for back in the day. We've got some information here actually. Oh, here you go. So, until the mid 1900s, there were train oil factories in most towns in Greenland. The production process by which train I guess drivers extracted involved boiling blubber of whales, walruses and seals as well as liver of sharks in large, in large vats. The company holding the concession undertook both the production of train oil and its sale to Denmark and other countries. So here you can see the train oil factories and I guess this is the This is how they went about it, the tools they used. So train oil production to a halt in 1963. I think you have a cafe of some sort over here. <laughs> Greenland's National Museum and Archives over here in that building. More kayaks. You can use.
Hello guys, how's this? So we're just at the other end of the Colonial Harbour. It's wet everywhere because of the melting snow. Here's the water taxi offices. And I guess this is the water taxi stop here. Yeah? Colonial Hafen. I guess that means Colonial Harbour. Overlooking there, so there's Hans Egerde again, new cathedral, and spectacular surroundings. Almost feels like time is standing still here. Quite buzzing with people over there though. Hi, hello, how are you? Hello. Hello. Nice. Hello. Very good, how are you guys? Yeah, good. You? Yeah, good man. Tired. <laughs> this is the Greenlandic version of Toys for Kids. A seal. Never seen one of those. This must have been a hell of a job. Gearing up the snow, handling this and making these streets accessible again. So well done to those who have done it. Probably the municipal guys we spoke to earlier. I don't know if the Euros coming to Nuke anytime soon. Do you think you could live in Nuke? I don't think I can, to be honest. As lovely as it is to walk around here, I think I will just, after a while, the luxury or the, the feeling of being in a very remote part of the world will actually get to me. It doesn't mean that I don't like Nuke. Quite the contrary. I think it's an absolutely epic experience to be uh, really may maybe a once in a lifetime opportunity. I don't mean this lightly. I think in all my years of travel, this picture here with New Cathedral and Hans Eger's statue is one of my favorite images in the world, favorite scenes in the world. Overlooking the Colonial Harbor here. Yeah? Absolutely breathtaking. And what a privilege to be here and experience all of this. I hope you enjoyed this vlog of Nuuk, the capital of Greenland. I hope to bring you some more footage of this beautiful city. But for now, I'm going to say thank you for watching my videos. If you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you again soon.